In the last two videos, we looked at what a putout is and how defensive players generally get credit for for putouts. And then we also have looked at the the eight automatic ways that a catcher can receive credit for a putout. So in this video, we're going to look at the seven ways that a a fielder other than the catcher can receive credit for a put out. So let's scroll down here and, and, and let's start off with, with number one and that is will take place during a play in which we have the infield fly rule put into effect and so this states that if the if the, the remember the infield fly rule is is if the, the umpire judges a ball could be caught you know by with ordinary effort on the the part of the fielder that the batter is automatically out and so if in that situation a, a, a as usually happens if a fielder you know will run over and catch the ball then then what he, he will have done is actually he will have fulfilled uh, this no he will have fulfilled this 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 uh, criteria for the put out so it, it's a, a, a a pretty simple you know the guy that catches the fly ball is the one that get, gets credit but in the event that that the the runner or the the fielder does not catch the ball the the batter is out anyway because the umpire is called the infield fly roll which means by definition he is out automatically so the 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 official score credits the put out to the fielder who he believes should have made the catch or could have made the catch so the during during the infield fly I will, the, the 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 player or the the fielder judged and this is judged by the 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 by the official scorekeeper so so the fielder judged to um to have the the best chance, we could say, to 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 catch the fly ball. So let's spell chance right. The best chance, and, and so so basically that's that's you know if it's popped up near second base, basically what we're saying is that that you know we'll probably be giving it to the second baseman or the, or the shortstop. The second way is that if a runner is touched by a fair ball then the, the runner is automatically out, as we know. So the the fielder that gets credit for the put out then will be the fielder closest to the play. So if a runner a runner is, is touched by a fair ball, and, and, and remember if it's a foul ball, then it, it, it doesn't doesn't uh, matter. He's not out. It's, it's just a kind of a do-over. It's a foul ball. And, so we continue on the game. Uh, so if the if the runner though is touched by a fair ball, it's the the, the the put out goes to the closest fielder to the play. The third way is that if a runner is called out for being out of the baseline in order to be to avoid being tagged. Then, then the 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 uh, put out is credited to the fielder who the runner was attempting to you know to avoid. So if a runner is is out of the baseline, the, the put out goes to the fielder who he was avoiding, and so. Actually, and, 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 and it's, it's important to remember that in order to go out of the baseline, you must uh, be avoiding a tag. So, so you can basically, uh, you can, you can, it's kind of a, a common misconception, but, but really you can run wherever you want to on the field as a runner as long as you're not trying to avoid a tag. But as, as, as soon as you start trying to avoid that tag, then there's certain rules that come into effect. So, but that, that's for another video. So the next way, the fourth way, is that uh, if a, a one runner on the bases passes another runner, 
then we would credit the put out. Uh, obviously, this is something you can't do. You, it's a, it's a, 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 an out if, if one runner passes another. So it, we credit that out to the fielder nearest the point of passing. So if one runner passes another, the put out goes to the, the fielder closest to the point of, of, of passing that the, the pass took place. The, the, the fifth way is that, and the, there are, are, are seven here in this, 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 this series, so, so the fifth one is that if if a uh, if if a runner is kind of a, a, a an odd rule to have because you'll see this probably never if a runner runs the bases in the, in reverse order then the the credit goes to for the putout goes to the fielder covering the base the runner left in starting his reverse run so so running the bases in reverse order. The the, the put out and put out goes to the, the fielder closest to the the first base. The runner left. So if 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 the runner is standing on third base and and for whatever reason he he decides to run backwards which is a, a it it's actually something that used to be legal and so you can kind of see where what or why this this rule ended up in the book but you, you used to be able to to actually do that but uh you can't can't anymore so if there's a runner on third base and he, he decides to run back to second uh then then in, in that situation we would give credit to for the put out to the, the third baseman